You guys have to pay attention to my left arm, my power hand, and my left leg. I'm not telling you to cross your feet. I'm not telling you to cross your feet. This is crossing your feet. I mean, you can all see that. What I'm telling you to do is gently movement, and this isn't crossing your feet. See how far apart my feet are? That's not crossing your feet. This is crossing your feet. And I get asked a lot. Aren't you crossing your feet? No, not really, because I'm moving in a circle, and my feet are already so far apart to begin with. Okay? You're whipping your opponent in a circle towards your shoulder. Your hand motion is this direction. At the same time, you almost act as if you're going to do some sort of you know, Osoto Gary or Uchimata or some forward technique by stepping across with your big leg. Okay? Now you're just going to fall in and spin. With the ball. I'm going to break it down. But that's the movement. Spin. Let's make your opponent spin with you. Turn through your shoulder, step across, not cross your feet. Step across in a circular motion. You gain momentum. As soon as this foot hits, swing your foot okay, into the target area. Now, swing, okay? We swing, and now with this one, this one's a little different, and I prefer this one over the other Tobinagi. We just kind of you know, let them go. We already have so much momentum from that circular motion. As we're coming in, we take his sleeve hand, take his sleeve hand, and, we, and, we, and we're gonna take our head, and we're gonna follow his sleeve hand past his ankle, or we're gonna push it past both his feet. And we keep spinning, keep spinning, and come out the other side. You guys see that? Yeah. Push slower. So we build all that momentum, circular momentum up. We spin, steer, spin, 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 spin. Obviously, you're not using this back foot. That's not the idea. You should have someone with I'm just going slow. Slow, pushes past both feet. Bring your head with this arm. Keep spinning. And once you get to this point where your head is beneath his legs, that's when you elevate and whip. Okay? Now, should we pull my head beneath my opponent. 